Let's start with the next chapter, chapter number two, the phrase. The clauses I'll ask you in the second time. What is a phrase? A phrase is a group of word that makes some sense, but not complete sense. So phrase will make some sense, but not complete sense. Kindly note, it does not contain a subject and a verb agreement. You will not get the subject and the verb agreement within a phrase. But in a sentence, it is compulsory, it is mandatory to have a subject and a verb agreement. This is the only difference between a subject and a phrase. Okay. In the post office, with great difficulty, these are all your phrases. Because they convey you some meaning, but not the complete meaning. You have to use few words to convert it into a meaning. In full sentence. His father works in the post office. Now this is a complete scene. We would climb the hill with great difficulty. Now this is conveying you the full meaning. So a group of words which conveys your full meaning, that is a sentence. Right? It is mandatory to have subject and a verb agreement. Whereas a phrase is a group of words but does not convey you the full meaning. It will give you some sense but not the full meaning. Right? It does not contain a subject and a verb. It does not contain. Right? In sentence, it is mandatory to have a subject and a verb agreement. But within a phrase, make sure it does not contain a subject and a verb agreement. Okay? I think everyone is familiar with the subject and the verb agreement. I have taught you. Now see, kinds of phrases. Phrases are of three types. Adjective phrase, adverb phrase, noun phrase. There are five types of phrases, but here you are only taught three, so we'll go with this only right now. Adjective phrase, what is the function of an adjective? It modifies a noun or a pronoun. It tells more about a noun or a pronoun. This is the function of adjective only. So, we are talking about adjective phrase. So, adjective phrase is a group of words. Adjective phrase is a group of words. Two or more than words. Right? And it will modify a noun or a pronoun. It will modify a noun or a pronoun. For example, see here, my brother bought a car. What kind of a car? A white color. Right? Because this group of word, this is modifying this car. Okay? I have a laptop made of steel body. So the phrase of white color and made of steel body tells us more about the noun car and laptop is it clear so thus they are doing the work of adjective and are known as adjective phrase so these are all your adjectives because the, these words they are just doing the work of an adjective only but they are group of words so they are known as adjective phrase so make sure that adjective phrase is a group of words more than two words okay and it will modify a noun or a pronoun you can expand adjective into an adjective phrase like this a joyful child if I, you are asked to modify this adjective into an adjective phrase then you can do this a child of joyful nature imported goods could imported from other countries kind woman a woman with kindness a golden necklace, a necklace made of gold. So in this way, you can expand adjectives into adjective phrase. Now see, exercise 2.1. Underline the adjective phrase in the following sentences. You are simply asked to underline the adjective phrase. This is a building with magnificent look. So, these words are your adjective phrase because you are modifying the noun building. Okay. I bought a shirt with stripes on it. What kind of a shirt? This is a noun with stripes on it. Devika is a girl of four years of age. She entered a room with darkness all around. These are all your phrases because it is modifying a noun. A receptionist with a charming face welcome us. So this is your adjective phrase. She was accompanied by a dog with brown fur. So, adjective phrase is a group of words, right? More than two words. And it will modify a noun or a pronoun. Now, you may also be asked to replace the 
italicized adjective phrase. Italicized means slant in the following sentence with an adjective without changing the meaning. Means you don't have to change the meaning. You have to simply replace it with an adjective. Use an adjective. One word. The first one is done for you. See, it is difficult to watch a movie full of horror. Right? So you have to change this adjective phrase into a sentence with an adjective. But meaning should not change. It is difficult to watch what kind of a movie? Horror movie. Full of horror means horror. You are talking about horror only. No? So horror movie. Got it? He is a man full of wisdom. So you can say he is a wise man. This is your adjective phrase. He went to a market crowded with people. This is your adjective phrase. So he went to a crowded market. Okay. She sold her chain made of gold. So she sold her golden chain. You're talking about chain made of gold now. So you can say golden chain. Suman is wearing a dress of many colors. So many colors means you can say colorful dress. So Suman is wearing a colorful dress. You're talking about this dress only. So first make sure that this your noun will come after the adjective when you are replacing the adjective phrase with an adjective. Noun will come after the adjective because I have taught you when I was teaching you adjective that you first find out where the noun is and that noun will be modified by an adjective only. Okay. So in this also see movie. What kind of movie? Horror movie. Right. Then what kind of market? Crowded market. What kind of a chain? Golden chain. Okay. Golden is your adjective. Chain is your noun. Then what kind of a dress? Colorful dress. Surya Dev was a king known for his kindness. Right. So you are talking about what kind of a king? Kind. So all these adjectives they are modifying your noun. Is it clear? So adjective phrase is a group of words. More than two words. Which will modify a noun or a pronoun. I think this thing is clear. Now see the next one. Adverb phrase. What is an adverb? What is an adverb? Adverb modifies the meaning of a verb. Or an adjective or an adverb itself. Isn't it? But an adjective and adverb phrase. They are the group of words that function as adverbs. They will function as adverbs. They are the group of words and they will function as adverb. And they will modify the meaning of a verb as adverb was doing, of an adjective or another adverb. Okay? See, she danced in a beautiful manner. She danced. How? In a beautiful manner. I bought the book. From where? From an online store. The train will arrive when? After some time. Okay? So these are all your adverb phrases. So adverb phrases, they are the group of words that function as adverb. They will modify the meaning of a verb or meaning of an adjective or an adverb itself. They will tell you how, where, when. Now see here. Suppose you are asked in exercise 2.3, you are asked to replace italicized adverb phrase in the following sentence with an adverb without changing meaning. Italicized means slant. Okay. You don't have to change the meaning. You have to simply use the adverbs in the box and replace it with the adverb phrases. First one. See, the incident occurred. Again and again is your adverb phrase. So you have to use a word from this box which means the same. Right? Meaning will not change. Again and again means frequently. The principal spoke to me in a kind manner. How? You can say kindly. His salary was increased step by step. Gradually. 
do not talk in a rude manner rudely okay then the workers receive bonus every year you can say annually i went to europe not long ago means recently we had to remove our shoes and that place where there you often arrive after the appointed time means late so you are you placing these adverb phrase with an adverb these are all your adverbs okay so you have to use the adverbs given in the bracket and you have to replace the adverb phrases these are adverb phrases because they are group of words and they are modifying your adjective verb or not verb itself i think this thing is clear now the noun phrase noun phrase are group of words that function as nouns they are group of words and they function as noun like a noun a noun phrase can act as a subject as object of a verb or as an object of a preposition okay and i have taught you very clearly how to change your verb into a noun i told you that was a gerund you frame gerund when you and when you change you use a word verb and add ing to it and then you use it as a subject then it functions as a noun in a sentence so kindly make sure that your gerunds your participles your infinitives are clear because if that thing is clear then they you will face no problem in doing your phrases right over here you are using this word going don't think so this is verb i have told you now this is functioning as a noun in a sentence right so going for a walk is my daily routine so this is working as a subject of a verb okay she loves playing a guitar this now this is working as a object of a verb the first prize was won by sixth class boy so this is working as a object of a preposition so noun phrase they are the group of word that function as nouns so my dear children kindly go through the gerund infinitives and participles and it will be very easy for you to find out which word is a noun in a sentence when you ask to just underline the nouns right now see you underline the noun phrases in the following sentences sketching portraits is his hobby so over here this word is your noun phrase is it this is your noun this is so when you, it's a group of what sketching portrait you're talking about this portrait the sketching portraits is your noun phrase she hopes to pass with flying colors i do not know the trains new timings becoming a good pilot i like listening sufi music so these all were sketching portraits with flying colors the trains new timings becoming a good pilot listening sufi music these are all your noun phrases okay is it clear so kindly do the exercises and still if you feel any problem kindly ask me